stand for an unboxing of the Raya Bright 10 USB bicolor LED ring light and it's uh, 10 inches. Originally I bought this on sale at B&H uh, for $14.99 and now it goes for $69 and uh, I got it through the deal zone so I picked it up. Now <clears throat> ring lights are not my favorite and uh, usually they're not my typical type of lights for work. Um, but in this case, uh, I decided to buy a small ring light. And uh, I found that if I'm doing um, selfie types of YouTube videos, I can just have a ring light in front. And I don't really like using lights uh, that are big and I need to front light. So I decided, okay, you know what? It's 15 bucks. Let's just go for it. And... Uh, and I don't like using the big ring light. Here's a big, humongous, huge ring light. You can't really tell from this angle, but this is a pretty big light. And I would say this is about maybe 16 to 20 inches wide. And, uh, you know, that actually is too big for the space that I have. So the small one would work. And, uh, what I can also utilize this light for is uh, probably for small quick food shots when I'm doing uh, food videos for social media that doesn't require heavy grip and lighting setups. I like using these small lights now in combination with a ring light. I can just bring this ring light with me and probably be able to achieve such good uh, lighting situation with food and I can use this ring light along with this portable small LED light. So that is the reason why I bought it, uh, plus the price. And then my daughter probably wants to use this light as well for her, her own like YouTube videos. So let's uh, unbox this thing, shall we? That's the information. Okay, big box for a little light. There you go. So you see that profile there of this light. And this so this will work well and the other thing I like about it is from what I've read you can actually power it through a USB and this is a type C we'll see what kind of connectors are this is a USB so you can utilize power banks to run this light so that's which is great sometimes I come to a restaurant and you know the outlets are pretty inconvenient and it's a lot harder to access so I figured if I have this I might be able to uh, utilize my power banks like this. Okay, so what do you have here? Plastic stand. Okay, very cheap material. It's uh, it's not even heavy duty plastic. Uh, these uh, corners here will break. I know it already because I've had these cheap, cheap ones like this with one of those selfie sticks years back, and they're not very good. So I don't plan to use that. I have these types of uh, metal uh, adapters like this. These are heavy duty. So if you put this on a stand like that, it'll stand up with this. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't use these at all. They're just crap. So this doesn't come with the package. I just have this just laying there. Okay. This probably is the mount for the camera. Okay. It's not uh, the worst. Um, the hinges here are relatively more stable than other ones. I've seen really pure plastic and this has some kind of aluminum to it. This has a relatively good torque to it that it will grip on nicely okay all right that's okay and then there's another tripod stand here which i won't use either that's just crappy i've had these as well the, the, these things break right here and the heads are horrible in these things really cheap quality so i won't use these um and you got another adapter for phones. You get these things for when you buy like a 99 cent store. And, you know, they're relatively cheap. And you can mount your phone like that. And stand. Yeah, I won't use these. These are just crappy plastic. I already feel it, the tension right there. It cracks and that's it. Uh, another ball head. Okay. 
anything. This ball head might be okay, but yeah, you want real good quality ball heads, you definitely got to spend spend money on it. Um, I mean, for the type of uh, this would be used for, you know, basic food stuff, food photography. Okay, the ring light itself, um, very cheap in quality. It will crack easily. Thin, thin plastic. I'm glad it's 15 bucks. If they're selling this for 70 bucks, I would not buy it. No, no way. No way I would buy this. Okay, so it is a USB. We'll use a USB port here. And uh, let's fire it up. Okay, we got juice. And let's see how much length this cable will probably give us. So this is about five feet, I would say, on this cable. Okay, let's see if it picks up. So there's power in this battery. It says uh, full bank. So now this came on, which is good. So the power's on. Let's fire it up. Okay. All right, powering up. What's going on? In there. So I have to push that button to make it work? Uh, I don't know about that. That might not be okay. Wow. That's not good. That's not good. What is going on there? See that? That's not even uh, keeping the light on, even though the battery's full. What is going on here? It's not even firing up at all. Okay, I'm gonna try a different one. See if this one will work. Okay, now the blue light's on. Okay. Seems to work on that. Uh oh. There is some issues with flickering. Let me turn off this light. Maybe that's the flickering there. Okay. That was the other light that was flickering. So I turned that off. Okay, this is the reduced strength, increased strength. And uh, my color. Okay, so it works directly with Edison Power. That's a good thing. The issue I have now is running it through a power bank, and I don't know why it's not running through this, which is not good because that's the idea that I wanted to use this for. So if it works on Edison. Let's see why. This thing is not firing up here. It just doesn't like this power bank. That is a strange, strange device. It shuts off completely. Weird. I'm going to do a different power bank. See if a different battery will work better. Here's another USB, different battery bank. So we're troubleshooting really well with this device. Okay, so this, oh, you see, that one also shuts off. It's got, has consistent power. So this thing has to be really turned on completely. So this might, these type of batteries might not be ideal to use for this light. So it must be the, the actual power bank to use for phones. I use these for lights, sort of that nature. But anyways, um, I will test that out once I actually get a power bank. Right now, I don't have a power bank that I own. But other than that, um, this is what you can probably use this for, you know, with the stand. Have the LED um, stand up with tripod. Expand the legs. 
and then you have a hot shoe here which probably will hold the phone and where is the hot shoe okay there's a hot shoe port here but there is nothing to connect the hot shoe with so <laughs> it's all mix match of all these devices it's not a very good design um will i use it i'm tempted to ship it i, but I feel like i'm just going to be wasting my time for sending back something that's 15 dollars. i might as well just keep it it's garbage to be honest with you but uh we'll find a way to make use of it all right, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or comments down below, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.